Hey there, it's Seb Fry here with another exciting episode of It's a Seb Show! And it's a rare episode too because this is a Sunday episode. And I think I've only done an episode on Sunday once or maybe twice before. But of course now, hey, Sunday, Saturday, Friday, Thursday, who's really keeping track anymore? I know I basically am not. But uh, like you, I find myself uh, with more time at home these days. And naturally in this day and age, when you have more time at home, what are you going to be doing? You're going to be on the internet, like looking at stuff, right? So I'm on social media and I'm like reading the conversation that we're having here as a nation about this whole shelter in place, uh, quarantine thing, which by the way, has been extended to May 3rd. And there's a lot of wailing and gnashing of teeth. And many people, particularly I happen to notice people on the right, they're saying it's just not worth it. The cost is too great. These trillions and trillions of dollars, this is not worth it to save the lives of a few people who are mostly sick and elderly anyway, and they're going to die soon. So it's just not worth uh, all the pain and suffering and cost that we're going through to save these lives. Now, you may remember in an episode, uh, episode or two ago of It's a Seb Show that I said that Trump is now saying, hey, only 100,000 people are going to die. That would be a very good outcome. That's because uh, the numbers he was looking at was 100,000 to 240,000 people dying if we do this shelter in place thing, right? To keep the, you know, uh, uh, you know, keep it from spreading, right? Uh, so, um, but then if they also, uh, that same research was showing that if we didn't do shelter in place, it would be more like 1.6 to 2.2 million people dying if in America of COVID-19 if we don't do any kind of shelter in place at all. So that kind of makes me wonder, uh, what do you think that number is, right? Okay, so like, here we are, we're sheltering in place, we're losing trillions of dollars to save how many lives? Now, there's 330 million people in the United States right now, right? So let's just say that if we could, if, if it meant that if we didn't do shelter in place, 165 million people would die, like half of the people would die, would that be worth sheltering in place for, you know, 45 days or whatever? Well, yeah, you'd probably say yes, absolutely, because, you know, half, that would be a lot, right? Okay, well, how about, like, if 10% of Americans were to die? So, like, 33 million people at that point, would it be worth it? Would it be worth it if it was just the 1 million or 1.6 million or 2.2 million people? At some number... At some level, you're going to say, yes, yes, we would definitely want to all shelter in place and stay home because that would just be too terrifying. So I'm interested to know what is that number because I happen to also notice that a lot of these far right type, not even that far right, but just center right even um, people, they, are, they, they call themselves pro-lifers, right? And they're basically saying every life is sacred. We can't have any abortions, not even in rape and incest because every life is sacred. So if you feel that every life is sacred... That would mean we need to save as many lives as we can. And if we end up only saving even one life by sheltering in place, the whole expense, $2 trillion, $4 trillion, $6 trillion, $8 trillion, $10 trillion, whatever it is, that would have been worth it if, in fact, you do believe that every life is sacred. So I'm just curious what you think. How many lives saved is appropriate uh, given that we're doing a shelter in place for 45 days? Is it 100,000 like Trump says? Is it 240,000? Is it 500,000? Is it a million, 10 million, 30 million? Uh, 50 million or not not worth it. No matter how many lives you save, we shouldn't be doing this at all. I'd be curious to see what you say. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a poll here on the website, sebfry.tv. And if you're seeing this on YouTube, there will be a link uh, in the text underneath the image. And if you're on uh, underneath the video, and if you're on the website, uh, you will see the, uh, the poll there. I'd be curious to know how many people that many lives do we need to save for this to be worth it? Okay, that's what I want to know. All right, so do me a favor, share this, fill in the poll, because I'm really curious what you think. How many lives um, uh, is it worth saving to go through uh, all of this that we're now experiencing and the cost and, and all that? Because some people just think it's not worth it. They're old. They're going to die soon anyway, which... I find appalling, but okay, whatever. Uh, I'm curious to know what you think. So uh, please go on over to sebfry.tv and fill in the poll, and I would really love to know. Of course, not scientific, but uh, I'm just kind of curious uh, what you guys think about that. All right, that is it for this episode of It's a Seb Show. Thank you so much for watching. Please do take the poll. Give me a comment. Give me a like, thumbs up, and I would love it if you would also share this as well. All right, thanks so much for watching, and I will have another episode up again before too long.